Since Trump's inauguration, the White House has been the home of chaos and excitement. And now Congress is getting in on the action as well. It's been an exciting week in the Senate, and not like exciting by normal Senate standards, you know, like when they get raisinets in the vending machine. And it's just like, <laughs> it's the candy that won't chip my teeth. <laughs> Talking about real excitement. First, Mike Pence became uh, the first person in 230 years to break a tie to confirm a cabinet secretary. Yeah, first time in 230 years. Uh, and the cabinet secretary is Bessie DeVos, who all the Democrats and two Republicans tried to block. Uh, now, that amount of excitement would normally last the Senate for a month. But this is Trump's America now. Scandal is the new normal. The fireworks coming last night as Senator Elizabeth Warren quoted a 1986 letter from the late Coretta Scott King. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Warren violated Senate rules against criticizing colleagues. Is there she was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. Yeah, Mitch McConnell finally standing up to the ladies, yeah. <laughs> you said I couldn't stand up to Donald Trump, and I couldn't, but I'll stand up to Dr. King's dead widow, ha-ha. <laughs> How you like me now? <laughs> this is the absurdity of the Senate. Mitch McConnell is accusing Elizabeth Warren of attacking the integrity of Alabama Senator and Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions, only because she's reading a letter Dr. King's wife wrote criticizing Sessions, blocking black people's voting rights. And that is apparently against the rules. So basically the way it works in the Senate is a senator can do bad things, but you can't point out that a senator is doing bad things, which sounds less like the government and more like the Catholic Church. <laughs> in a situation like this, I can't imagine what Elizabeth Warren is thinking right now. Um, so I guess, why don't I just ask her? Joining us live via satellites, Senator Elizabeth Warren, everybody. Senator Warren, thank you so much for taking the time and joining us. I know you have a vote to get to uh, very shortly, so we'll get straight into it. You stood up to read that letter in the time that this has blown up everywhere, four of your male colleagues have been able to read the letter in full. Is there something to that? Should you uh, have been a man to read this letter? Uh, look, the main thing is that millions of people are now reading Coretta Scott King's letter. It is an amazing letter. It is a letter full of passion. It is a letter full of heart. And it's a letter full of advice to us. It talks about a moment in history when African Americans were beaten away from the polls. And it talks about Jeff Sessions' role in that. And I think it has an important lesson today for all of America. I hope everybody reads her letter. That's Coretta Scott King's letter talking about why it is so important to have public officials who actually believe in equal rights and equal opportunities for every one of us. Do you think you realized in that moment, and do you think Mitch McConnell realized what a solid he's done you? <laughs> because, you know, I mean, since, since, since that happened, I, just on Facebook Live alone, when you read the letter, it got six million views last time I checked. And it is everywhere and people are reading it. It's like, this is something that has helped you. It, but no, what it's done is it's helped us have a better democratic conversation. You know, understand, we don't have the votes in the United States Senate to block somebody like Jeff Sessions or yesterday to block a, a secretary of education who doesn't believe in public education. We don't have those votes. So what we've got to do is count on people all around this country to make their voices heard. Some people would say, though, those are the rules. What you did on the floor was breaking the rules. You are not meant to impugn the motives of uh, a senator. So when, when you look at that, do you go, I broke the rules, or do you think that the rules are used when the people feel like they should be used? You know, I, I just want to start here with the Republicans' response on this. Coretta Scott King, in her letter, talks about how Jeff Sessions managed by prosecuting civil rights workers who were trying to help elderly African Americans vote, that by prosecuting them, they had done what local sheriffs had accomplished 20 years ago with clubs and cattle prods. 
She talks about what Jeff Sessions directly did as the U.S. attorney for Alabama. And you notice the Republicans are not saying, hey, those aren't the facts or something has changed or he did all these other things afterwards. No, what they're saying is you don't get to talk about that. Well, I know you've got a vote to get to. I appreciate you for your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Good luck fighting uh, what at times seems like the unfightable fight. Elizabeth Warren, everybody. Hey there, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that video, click here to subscribe. Just keep the mouse pointer away from my face, please. Don't, no, don't, here, click here to, sub not, not my face, click here, please. Please, that looks, don't do that, that's sharp, that's sharp. Click here to subscribe.